Ow! Something in my eye. I almost couldn't wait for this video to try the products that arrived at my door. Today we're going to be trying the Trini London makeup. So pretty much the whole idea of Trini London's line is... It's kind of like on the go, quick and easy makeup. But if you know me, that's not really me. And I also like to take my time with my makeup. I usually wake up a little bit earlier just so I can really enjoy the process of putting on makeup and trying it out. But yeah, I'm really curious to see how I like it. I think I'm gonna love it, by the way. But a lot of the reviews that I've seen have been like quite light application. But yeah, I don't know if you get my drift, but I'm very excited. Now, I live under a rock, or I did live under a rock, so I didn't even know who Trini was, Trini Woodall, until I heard about this makeup line, but I'm obsessed with her. She's just such a beautiful, vibrant woman. And yeah, the makeup line, it just looks amazing. So this is the box. It is very luxurious, and I don't know why I was surprised by that. I'll quickly unbox everything and I'll show you what I got. So I think that this bag is a gift with purchase, but all of my products came in this little bag and I appreciate that very much. And obviously it comes in this beautiful bright yellow box, but I'll show you what I got. The first two products are the things that intrigued me the most. So I picked up their BFF serum de-stress tinted serum. <laughs> But they recently released this and it just looks gorgeous. So they have two kind of like, actually no, they don't have two. They have three base products. They have like a CC cream that like color corrects that's got SPF in it. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. They have this, the BFF serum. And then they also have the Just To Touch foundation, which is a cream foundation, which isn't really up my alley. This seems like something I would like. Now, I probably will apply this with my fingers and then kind of try and build it up with a brush because even though I'm not really a fan of like the quick application with your hands, I do like to apply BB creams and sissy creams with my fingers. I just think it blends it in better. So we'll use that today. And then the second thing is the BFF Serum Eye Concealer, which this looks really nice and really juicy. It has kind of that, I didn't show you the packaging of the BFF one, but it's just like, it's just like a basic, BB cream situation. You've got a little pump on the top there and it's quite a nice pump if I do say so myself. And then with the eye serum, it kind of has one of those cooling applicators. I did try these, but just to see if they matched my skin tone. With that serum, you do get a little teapot, which is what most of their products come in just so you can take it on the go as well. But I probably won't be needing that. I appreciate it. Now, Let's go through the base products that I picked up. So this is my little stack. This is the Miracle Blur. This is ultimately like just a blurring product. Um, I know that Trini uses it around her mouth where she's got fine lines. I am going to test it on my one fine line between my forehead here. And then I'm also going to test it out on my pores as well and see how we go. But that is kind of like a superstar product from Trini. Now with these little teapots... They all click together, as you can see, and they kind of have a little click shut, which I very much appreciate because you'll know when you've ultimately closed it, therefore it'll seal and the product will last a little bit longer. So I picked up that. I couldn't decide if I wanted to get the cheekbones, so their contour product, or the bronzer. Um, if you didn't know, I was on a no buy, but I did break it for the Trini London products. And I also had this product on my break my no buy list, which is the Westman Atelier contour stick. So I decided I would pick this one up and then I would get the bronzer from Trini. And this is in the shade Gaia. Gorgeous. I think that's going to be a favorite for sure. And then I got three blush products. They have two formulas. They've got their lip to cheek and then they have also have their flush blush, which is just like a thicker pigmented blush. Now I did want, I can't remember what the name was, so I'll put that on the screen, but I did want a different flush blush, but they didn't have it in stock and I was impatient. So I ended up getting a different one and it actually was quite similar to one of my lip to cheek ones that I picked up. So 
I probably won't regret it, but I am, they're pretty similar. So the first lip to cheek I got was one of their more popular ones and it is in the shade VB. And it's just a kind of soft coral, but I think that this will complement a lot of looks and it's a nice youthful blush. And the other lip to cheek that I got is Freddy. And this is more of like a deeper berry tone, which it's kind of what I'm missing in my makeup collection. I don't have a lot of deeper blushes and I thought it would be nice to try that one out. And now instead of getting the one that I wanted, I got the blush Schmoogie. This is the flush blush formula. So it's a little less whipped. The lip to cheek is quite like lightweight. This one is a little bit more pigmented, but it is quite similar to Freddie, just maybe a tad dustier and a little bit lighter, but they might ultimately look different on the skin, who knows? And now for the eye set, I'm very excited about these. I don't know why, like I'm not really, I'm not opposed to a cream eyeshadow, but I haven't really dabbled in cream eyeshadows, but this looks really nice. They do have two formulas in this as well. They've got their eye to eye, and then they also have their italic, which is like a more intensely pigmented shimmer. So I got one of the italics. I picked up this one in Minerva, and they do lock pretty well. Like I have to use a towel because my fingers are slippery. This is gorgeous. It's just kind of like an oyster champagne. Oyster. Why did I say it like that? Um, but this is beautiful. It comes with a little sponge to kind of press the pigment down. I'm very excited about it. And then these next two are just neutral tones, but they're probably the most popular eye to eye shades. So the first one is Mystery. And this is a little bit more cool tone. I think that this is going to be the one that I'm going to use today because it pairs with Minerva right quite well. It has a really soft sheen. It's not too intense. And then the other one I picked up is Wisdom. And this is a little bit more, a little bit warmer, but these shades are quite similar, but they definitely are differences. I'll swatch them all together at the end of my, this little whole situation, just so you can see the difference between them. And then the last two that I got were... I kind of just chucked them in for good luck, you know? Um, this one, Queen, it looked a lot more pink online. It's kind of like a gold with a rosy glitter through. It's a really unique color. The formula does swatch a little bit different, so I am slightly worried about how this one will apply because it doesn't really have much of a base tone. It just has a lot of like shimmer. So this one is a questionable purchase for me because it's not something that I would actually wear, but I just threw it in there. And then this one I thought would be a great staple to have in my little stack. This is Emperor and this is just a matte, smoky, kind of rich brown. I'll go ahead and just swatch all of the base stack and then I'll swatch all of my eye stack as well and show you the colors. They actually are quite, I don't know if I'm just weak or if like my hands, they are a little bit tricky to open, but that's a good thing because then your product will probably not dry out as fast. For my cheek stack, this is Gaia. This is Schmoogie. This is Freddy. As you can see, yeah, as I was saying, they are quite similar, but that's slightly pinkier. And then this is VB. And this is my eye stack. So we have the italic in Minerva. As you can see, it is super reflective. Mystery. Wisdom, which yeah, you can see they're quite similar, but that's warmer. This is Queen. I don't know if you can really see that, but it does have that kind of gold and hot pink shimmer through it. But yeah, this texture is a little bit different, so we'll see how we go. And then this last one here is Emperor, which is the matte brown. Okay, let's get started. As I was saying before, with the BFF serum, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this with my hands, and then I'm going to try and build it up with a brush because I just don't think there's much of a point going in with a sponge as well to test this out because it is like a tinted product and your sponge is just gonna eat it up but I'm so excited I got the shade Bl blinky binky by the way they do have like a really good color matching system online but I did still fiddle around with it a little bit because I know what finish I prefer rather than like what they would 
what would suit me best, if that makes sense. Like I think with the concealer, I got the shade Rihanna, but I was recommended Shannon, which Shannon was gonna match my skin tone, but I wanted my concealer to be slightly brightening. So let's just go ahead and apply this. That's the shade Binky. I'm really pale at the moment, by the way, because I have not left my house. <gasps> Okay, so first of all, this has a really fruity smell, which I didn't expect. I don't know why, but these products feel a lot more luxurious than I had expected them to be. This feels so beautiful. It's honestly everything I expected it to feel like. It's kind of settling and sinking into the skin really quickly, but not in a bad way. But that feels really nice. It has given me like a really soft focus kind of glow. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit on my chest as well because that my chest is quite textured. Oh my God, I was supposed to put on the Miracle Blur. Trini herself does put it over the top of her products because she likes to be a little bit messy, but like good on her. You know what, let's just quickly go over the top of that. I knew I would forget this product. This is like quite a putty-like formula and it's a very thick, it kind of reminds me, it's like the professional, but a little bit more moussey. I'm just going to go in on my more poured areas. Poured areas? You do have to really work to blend this in because otherwise it can be really pilly and thick. And I was reading some reviews online and a lot of people said that they didn't know how to use it. And then once they found out that you kind of have to buff it into the skin, they really got that blurred effect. But I think that really made a difference. You can kind of see, let me zoom in. This is the side here without the Miracle Blur. And then this is the side with. I think that made a really big difference. It also kind of toned down a little bit of shine on my skin. Let me try it on my one forehead wrinkle here. But yeah, like I said, you do have to really blend it in. Otherwise, it does leave a little bit of a thick paste-like substance on the skin. Okay, that did fill in that line a little bit better. I guess we'll really tell, like, once I've worn it throughout the day. I'm going to use it around my mouth. It really does soften the texture of the skin. But yeah, you do need quite a lot of product to get the full effect. But they do say online how long this product will last you if you are using it on a de everyday basis. So they are really transparent with, you know, how long their products, products last as they aren't the cheapest brand out there. Okay, I'm gonna go in with another layer of that BFF serum. And you know what? We're probably gonna do a wear test as well today. Okay, so I'm gonna build up with just a Real Techniques brush. I feel like that built up quite a lot. That's actually quite surprising because it feels like quite a water-based product. I didn't expect it to build. It's definitely doing something. <laughs> Great review. It's definitely doing something. Now I am seeing a little bit of texture where I put the Miracle Blur like around my forehead. But as I say that, I feel like it's literally already sinking in and kind of mixing with the oils in my skin and so... I think that that's gonna go away. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some brows and then we'll do the eyes and then do the rest of the face. Okay, so brows are on. I'm not going in with primer today because I just really wanna suss out how these products are gonna work, but I did carve around my eyebrows up here with a little bit of concealer, but it's gonna be interesting because usually I do go in and even out my base before I go in with cream products regardless because I do have quite dark brown bluey eyes. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm gonna be using the shade Mystery and Minerva. Mystery is one of the eye to eyes, so we're gonna go with that first. And then we're gonna use Minerva, which is the italic over the top as like a finisher. And I'm probably gonna use the dark brown matte color Emperor as well, just to smoke out the lash line a little bit. But I'm really excited. So let's just go ahead and go in with it. I'm going to use my finger initially. And then I'm going to blend it out with a brush. I'm going to stick to Real Techniques because they're synthetic. So 
they'll probably work best with cream product but this is mystery so it's kind of like a cool toned light brown with like a frosty finish but I love these colors for every day just on their own that is a decent amount of pigment let me zoom you in it actually reminds me of one of the Maybelline ones that I have they're actually pretty similar this one's just a little bit warmer definitely a lot creamier though these have like a moussey finish to them whereas the Maybellines are quite dry these have a beautiful like they're like buttery I like that a lot this excites me but you definitely don't need to blend it out with a brush like that feels it's super buttery and I feel like you can buff out the edges with a clean finger quite well but I do prefer to go on with brushes Oops. okay and then I'm just gonna run a little bit underneath and this can be quite messy because we are gonna go in with concealer Ooh, put a little bit too much next the italic in Minerva this stuff is so reflective L'Oreal used to have little pressed pigments like this that came with like a stopper kind of reminds me of that and this one does feel a little bit more powdery which I would assume is because it's a pressed pigment but wow this the way this shimmers it's like a wet look but this is just mystery on its own with Minerva on top. Ooh. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really enjoying myself. <laughs> Let's go in with Emperor now. I was going to wait until I had my base done, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to take a really small brush and this is, it's still quite a creamy product, which is nice. And I'm going to smoke out my lash line. This brown is nice because it's not too deep. It has kind of like a red undertone, so it would be quite flattering on a lot of different skin tones. And they do have a great variety in skin tones. I think with their tinted skin products, they could do with a couple more, but because it's like, they're quite stretchable shades, it's not so bad. I'm really excited to see how these wear. And if they get crazy throughout the day and so that's what the mystery pot looks like after I've dipped into it it's still quite dense but it definitely has like a mousse finish like the Maybelline ones are really quite dry and you have to warm them up you don't have to do that with the Trini ones with that brown having a little bit more red in it it's making my brown eyes pop but moving on to the rest of the face let's go in with this concealer I love concealer so much so like I don't even know what to say about it oh I don't hate these like cool applicators but like they're not a necessity for me okay so I'm noticing I have to like apply quite a lot of product like I had to squeeze that quite a bit I'm gonna use my finger on one side and then I'm gonna use a brush on the other but this concealer actually does have like it's still really lightweight and it has that serum consistency but it is a little bit thicker than the tinted serum but actually is quite like with that thicker consistency it actually feels quite blurring but it's definitely like a lightweight coverage like, as you can see, I still have a little bit of darkness showing through. So maybe I'll do the same with the concealer as I did the foundation. So I'll build it, this first layer with my finger, and then build with another. With the brush, what am I saying? I'm going to go ahead and apply the concealer onto the back of my hand because I feel like I don't really get a good steady application with this little applicator. And, like, it kind of goes everywhere. So I'm just going to use my finger to apply that where I want more coverage. Okay, instead of building the coverage, I feel like the brush 
is kind of taking some of the coverage away. But it is a lot more blurring than I had expected. But yeah, no, the, the brush is definitely picking up the product. Rather than blending it in, hmm. I don't know if the concealer is like, the concealer is just very thicker. I don't know if it's applying over the top of the miracle blur very well. I don't know, the texture is just a bit different than what I had expected. Like it does give a really light coverage, but it is quite a thick product. Damn, I don't know. I'll have to keep trying this obviously and see how I feel, but I'm not getting the finish that I expected. Like I had to use a lot. Like I'm I'm squeezing this thing. Let me try cover my chin area a little bit. See, I don't feel like that really did anything. I definitely think it's applying a little bit cakey over the top of where I put the miracle blur, which is a little bit disappointing. I'm still not 100% happy with my under eyes. I feel like they're they're quite dark still. It could just be the fact that I'm used to something a little bit more full coverage. I'm not sure, but I am just gonna take a little bit of my Shiseido Synchro Skin Concealer just to brighten up the under eye. Like you can see that this this is quite a lightweight concealer too but already I've got so much more coverage. Like that was a lot more quick and easy. Like that's something that I'd probably reach for if I'm like wanting a quick and easy coverage every day. Cause like that took me two seconds to blend out. Whereas I had to build quite a lot with the serum concealer and I didn't really get anywhere. But anyways, moving on to the rest of the face products. Okay, first I'm gonna go on with Gaia, which is that bronzer. Dot that. Oh, this is a lot sheerer than some of the bronzing products that I've used, but yeah, I just know I'm gonna like this product. Like, it's just a kind of product that I like. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight from the brush, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This feels so lightweight, like it's nice. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really kind of creamy. This is a rich formula. That's really nice. 10 out of 10. I can already tell I'm gonna love this. And I'm, that makes me really excited because I think I'm gonna love the cheek products too. Like that's definitely the standout of the range. They're kind of pot complexion products, the cheek tints and the bronzer. They do have that cheekbones one the contour which I think would be amazing but yeah I just opted for the bronzer because I knew it'd be a product that I like that's delish okay let me zoom out a little bit more okay now for the blush products I'm gonna use one of the flush blush and then one of the lip to cheek I might go with the lip to cheek first so this is a little bit more of like a I don't know how to describe it it's not a glossy texture but it's more this one's very creamy. So it's similar to the bronzer, whereas the flush blush is a little bit more like densely packed. Like it's rich. I might just go with my finger and then blend out with the same brush. That's still really pigmented. So this is VB by the way, which is one of their most popular shades. It's more of like a peachy coral. I love that. See, I knew I would love these products. That is really nice. It's got pigment to it, but it's not difficult to blend out. Okay, and then I'm just gonna chuck that on the lips as well. I don't usually love like using a lip to cheek product on my lips because they're usually like quite moussey. But that's a nice color. But yeah, I don't know, every time I use a lip to cheek, it kind of gets caught up in my dry lips, but that could just be because I have dry lips. I don't hate that. All right, and then on the other side, I'm gonna try and clean off my brush as best as possible, but I'm gonna go in with Schmoogie, Schmoogie, which is that berry tone. This looks really nice. Okay, this is still quite creamy, but definitely more pigmented. Honestly, the formulas kind of feel the same. So you probably could use this on the lips as well. 
See, that's a different kind of color for me. I don't usually go for these. Deeper berries. That formula, honestly, I did not feel much of a difference. So I'm going to put that on my lips as well. I honestly like that formula on the lips a bit better because it's more kind of like a thick, rich color. I'm just, I don't know what else to say, but I really love that. I'm just going to quickly add a bit of that color on this side and then I'll add some VB to the other side to even it all out. Oh my god, that's like it. I want to keep playing with stuff. Okay, I'm going to pop on some lashes set with powder and then maybe add a little bit of cream highlighter over the top because they do have a cream highlighter, but I didn't get it. So... Yeah, I'll quickly show you what I'm going to use. I'll use things that I know are really good. I'm going to use my Fenty setting powder, a Luma illuminator, and then I'll just chuck some lashes on. Okay, so I went and popped on the rest of my makeup. My powder that I used went on really great over the top of the, um, the products. I feel like that Miracle Blur did make a difference. Like, my cheeks are quite smooth and airbrushed. So is my forehead. I'm definitely on the fence about the concealer. I'm not too sure about how I liked that. I do like the tinted serum because I feel like it's added a really nice soft glow to my skin. And you know, you can still see my imperfections through the skin, which I do usually love. I love the cheek. I love the bronze. I honestly want to go in with a little bit more, which honestly would be a good test to see how it sits over powder. I don't think there's going to be any issue with that. Um, I actually like it on the lips too. I love the eyes. I think that this Minerva glitter is going to be definitely a favorite for me. It hasn't creased at all. Um, let me just go in with more of the bronzer because I want to be bronzed. You can just tell when a formula is going to work well over the top of a powder. And I really like the subtle warm brown on my eyes. I'm glad I picked up that color actually. This might be cheating, but I'm gonna put a little bit of gloss over the top of the tint. It actually has settled into my lips and it looks a little bit more like a stain. So I'm surprised by that because I usually don't like a lip to cheek product on my lips, but this isn't bad. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Tower 28 Clear Gloss. But I'm going to go ahead and wear this for the rest of the day. We'll come back and do a little check-in situation. And then I'll give you my mini speed reviews of the products that I've used. But so far, I'm pretty impressed by most products. So I'll do a bit of a close-up and I'll see you in a bit. You guys... This wear test is a flop because I can feel a migraine coming on and I need to take this makeup off and sit in a dark room. But I've only had this makeup on for about two hours. Just to summarize, I think that the BB cream, like the tinted serum is really nice. Sorry, my brain's already like fried. Um, the serum's really nice. I think it's slightly oxidized, but that is not a bad thing. Concealer is a no. I don't. I hope you can see. But considering it's only been two hours and I have these horrendous lines around my eyes, it's just not okay. I don't like it. Like, it's so thick. I think the Miracle Blur really worked and I like that. I like the eyes. Honestly, the lips have surprisingly lasted really well. The blush looks great. Bronzer looks great. It's just that concealer that I'm really disappointed in. And like, that's like, was one of the things that I was so excited for. I didn't put any Miracle Blur under there. I didn't change my eye cream or anything. I usually use that Shiseido concealer all the time. I love that and I never get creasing. So it's definitely the concealer. But I really like how the... <laughs> Look how close I am. I really like how the tinted serum looks. But I need to take this makeup off. Just migraine things. It's honestly because I'm supposed to get my period this weekend. And I get premenstrual migraines. 
Okay, girlies. It's the next day. I gave pretty much everything another shot because I just couldn't figure out what my thoughts were from that one try. Please excuse my hair. Pretty much, I think that I still stand with the fact that I don't like that concealer. It's not as bad today because I kind of applied less and I also blended my eyeshadow down into my creases just to try and hide the fact that it really accentuates it. But I also put it like... I put it through my T-zone and over here and like it's so greasy but it just looks ugly on my skin. It feels like it's so like pasty and it doesn't really set down. Like it continuously moves. I even like brushed a bit of powder onto my eyes and it created like a little bit of a skip. My mascara is transferring when it never does that. I still love the bronzer. I used the other lip to cheek that I have in Freddie on my cheeks today. That looks great. The Miracle Blur, I love. This I actually really like. I don't think that's affecting like my T-zone because it's everywhere. And where I set with powder, like it still looks really nice. So I love the BFF serum. It's just the concealer that's really disappointing me. This shade as well, I use the Eye to Eye in Queenie. It could just be that I don't like this shade, but the formula of this one doesn't feel as kind of smooth and whipped as the other ones. This one is a little bit more like glossy and emollient so like when i was applying it i felt like i couldn't get an even finish because the base color is really sheer like you can see there it, it's quite patchy and then the glitter there's like a rose gold glitter it also applies patchy so this one's not my favorite it's a little bit of a mess it didn't crease or anything but you can kind of see where the base color is and where the glitter is and it just looks uneven and messy to be honest but I think it's this, just this shade. They might have tried to do something different with the glitter and it just didn't work. But like the other shades, the glitter topper that I used yesterday and the just the regular one, that lasted incredibly. But yeah, I think those are my final thoughts. But I definitely hate the concealer. It doesn't even add any coverage. So like I don't want to put it on my face because it's not, it's not giving me anything. It's just making whatever I have whatever I put over the top of it, crease and get greasy and move around. So back to yesterday's Lily, I guess. Goodbye, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. But I didn't do it. Then who killed Kirk Robert? <laughs>